Hello friends, this video on linear equation in two variables part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more taxi fare example. So the taxi fare in the city, the rule is pretty simple. The first kilometer, the charge is 8 rupees. And for the subsequent kilometer, the charge is 5 minus x. Sorry, the, the charge is 5 kilometer, 5 rupees. Right, this is 8 rupees for the first one. And this is for the subsequent levels. Okay. So for one kilometer, there is eight rupees. For two kilometer, eight plus five into one. For three kilometer, eight rupees for the first kilometer, and with five rupees, two kilometers. For 3 km, 4 km, if you see, the cost will be 1, 8 rupees for the first kilometer and 5 rupees per kilometer for the next 3 km. For 5 km, if you go, 8 km is fixed for the first kilometer and the next 4 km is 5 rupees. Okay, that is the total here. That is the kind of uh, relationship you get. So it says that taking the distance covered is x kilometer, find the total pair. So for x kilometer, first kilometer is 8, the next x minus 1 kilometer will be what? 5 into x minus 1. First kilometer is x, first kilometer is 8 rupees, the next x minus 1 kilometer because 1 kilometer is already covered. And what is remaining is x minus 1 kilometer. And for the next x minus 1 kilometer, the total charge will be x minus 1 to 5. And this is nothing but total fare. And total fare they are asking to denote by y. So the equation will be y is equal to 8 plus 5 into x minus 1. So we solve this, this becomes y into 8 plus 5 x minus 5. Or you can say that y minus 5 x is equal to 3. But if you see, for 1 kilometer the charge was 8 rupees, for 2 kilometer charge was 8 plus next kilometer 5 rupees. For 3 kilometer charge was 8. For next two kilometer, so if you see there is a three here, there is a two here, right? For four kilometer, the charge was first kilometer eight, next three kilometer five into three fifty. For five kilometer, the charge was first kilometer eight, and the next four kilometer five into four. Similarly, for x kilometer, the first kilometer charge is eight, the next kilometer, next x x minus one kilometer, the charge will be five into x minus one. Please pay attention here. Very uh, interesting. Example, a lot of people use x here instead of x minus 1. Pause this video, spend some time on this, understand why it is x minus 1, why not x. It is x minus 1 because 1 kilometer is already covered here. Right? Let me put 1 here. So if you see here, 1 plus x minus 1 is total x kilometer. 1 plus 4 is 5 kilometer, 1 plus 3 is 4 kilometer. 1 plus 2 is 3 km, 1 plus 1 is 2 km, this is only 1 km. Plus 5 into 0, 1 plus 0 is 1. Okay? And you can actually draw the graph for this as well. So the equation we derive was y minus 5x is equal to 3. Okay? So let's put the value, let's put the value of x to be 0. So x is equal to 0, y becomes what? y becomes 3. So this is one equation. Let's put x to be 1. If you put x to be 1, y becomes y minus 5 is 3, y becomes 3 plus 5 that is 8. You can try these uh, things be easy on your own. Put x is equal to only, anyway, two points are both enough for me, so I don't need. So let's put this point x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 is one point x is equal to 1, y is equal to 8. Somewhere, I don't know, I don't have this point. So let me take another point. Let's take x is equal to minus 1. To take x is equal to minus 1, the value of y will be y minus 5 into minus 1 is equal to 3. So y will be minus 2. Minus 2. So x is equal to minus 1, y is minus 2. So I have got these two points. I have got these two points actually. 
each line is called as x. It has to be a straight line. And this is the graph. Okay? Since I didn't have 8 plotted here, I actually found another value. But if you have 8 already plotted, plotted here, or you can actually do this, because you already have 8 plotted here, you can actually live with this as well. Let's take another example, Yamini and Fatima. So let's assume this is Yamini and this is Fatima. They are two students of class 9 of some school and they together contributed 100 rupees towards Prime Minister Relief Fund for earthquake victims. You have to find the linear equation which satisfies this graph. Let's assume Yamini contributed x rupees, Fatima contributed y rupees, the equation will be x plus y is equal to 100. Right? Contribution by Yamini plus contribution by Fatima is total 100. This is the equation. We have to draw a graph. So what I can do is, I can have to put 100 here. I don't have hundreds. So let's do one thing. Let's change the value. Right? Let me make this as 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, this will be 100, this will be 120, like that. And let this be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Because we have to change, but negative values are not required, so I'll just remove this. Right? Assuming that they are the same pattern. Minus 40, minus 60, minus 80, minus 100. And same thing here also. This will be 20, this is 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so let's put the values. If x is equal to 0, y is 100. If y is equal to 0, x is 100. So we know these points. With these points, x is equal to 0, y is 100 at this point. Then x is equal to 100, y is 0, x point. You add these, join these two points, you get the equation. That's all. It has to be a straight line. Okay? Yeah. So this is the equation. This is the graphical representation of this equation, that is x plus y is equal to 100. Let's take one more example. See, in European countries and and also in the US and Canada, the temperature is measured in Fahrenheit. But in countries like India, it is degree Celsius. There are two different units for measurement of temperature. You must have studied this in science. And there is a relationship that converts a temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And this relation is F is equal to 9 by 5 C plus 32. If these are the variables, you see this is nothing but linear equation into variable. A good application of linear equation in two variables in the field of science. We have to draw the graph for this equation. Also, we have to find a temperature in which both the Celsius and Fahrenheit are same. Okay, so let's draw the graph. So we know that let's take F to be y and x to be Celsius. So the equation is y is 9 by 5 x plus 32. Okay. So let's put x equal to 0. If you put x equal to 0, you get y as 32. That is one point. Okay. Let's put x as some other value. If you put 1, it is difficult. If you put 5 is fine, but 5 in, uh, it becomes 9 plus 32, 41 is a bigger quantity. We don't have that quantity to plot. So I can take x as minus 20. If we take x as minus 20, y comes out to be 9 by 5 into minus 20 plus 32 minus 4 minus 36 plus 30 that is minus 4 so y is minus 4 so i have these points okay and let's change this instead of 1 let's make it 10 20 30 40 50 times and let's also make this 10 20 30 40 50 60 times because let's add 0 everywhere. Minus 10, 20, 30, 
Okay, the first point is x is 0, y is 32, x is 0, y is 32 is somewhere here. This point. Next is x is minus 20, y is minus 4. x is minus 20 is here, y is minus 4, it will be somewhere here. This is the line. So the line will be that. Okay. Correct. So that is the graph you will get. Also, we have to find where Celsius and Fahrenheit is same. So if that is x equal to y. So if x equal to y, let's put the value. I can see that x is nothing but 9 by 5 x plus 32 because I have replaced x with pi and you saw this actually x comes out to be let's see x minus 9 by 5 x is equal to 32 and this becomes 5 minus 4 x by 5 equal to 32 or x is equal to 32 into 5 by minus 4 8 8 into 5 40 with a negative sign minus 40 so minus 40 is the temperature where you see x and y will coincide if you see if we draw this point here you see that minus 40 minus 40 is the point here so graphically also you can see that this is the point where both Fahrenheit and degree Celsius value the same okay and there can be questions such that uh, the value of uh, temperature at degree Celsius is given, you have to find the value of temperature at degree Fahrenheit. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.